As you guys just recently saw, I did swatches of all the six colors that came out in this collection. Um, as you see from the title, this is the new Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. So this is what the packaging looks like of them. They're flat. They kind of remind me of those lip products that I showed you in a Worth It or Worthless um, from Bonita. Uh, they were $3 a piece. I think they came out in six different colors. And it's the same type of packaging, just that this feels a little bit more uh, sturdier, like a harder uh, kind of like glassy plastic color. You could see the color through the frostiness. Um, I can't remember how much these were a piece, so I'll put it somewhere here. There are six colors in the collection. They range from a nude all the way to a deep plummy color, as you guys saw from these swatches. I really didn't see too many neutral colors. I would only say like two colors are maybe neutral, and all the rest are bright, bold, and pink. So this, I feel, was more like a spring-summer collection than a fall-winter collection. Now, as far as the product itself, I'm just warning you now, these have a very, very, very strong sweet scent to the point where when I first bought these, I got into my car and I applied it to my lips just to wear on the ride home and I had the windows up and I got so nauseous from the scent that I felt like throwing up. I had to put the windows down. It was just so strong. The scent is very strong. And I still smell it when I have it on my lips, but it's not as strong on my lips. So I would be, I just want to warn you guys that if you are not a fan of strong scents, you're not going to like these off the bat. You're going to get nauseous. I'm telling you. Even now I'm in my, my room and I could smell it on my lips. So if you're wearing these outside or in an open area, or if you've worn these like for a while and then go into a closed area, it won't be so bad. But the scent does get to me. And I am not sensitive to any scent, really. I can tolerate most scents, even those scents that I don't like from L'Oreal. But they don't linger as much. And for whatever reason, these are very potent. Now, as far as the applicator goes, I love the uh, flat paddle applicator that it comes with. It had... It, it, it kind of brings out enough product on the paddle itself where you do not have to dip back into the tube to fill more of your lips. As far as the lip size that I have, that's what I found. I can do one side of the paddle on the bottom and then flip it over and do the top and that is perfectly enough where it's not too much and it's not sheer. These are very creamy. These remind me so much of the matte, the, um, the NYX matte soft cream formula the ones that are sort of matte but they're not they're just the same this is not by any means a liquid lipstick these are exactly like those those are the most comparable ones i would say i would say it's like a 90 to 95 percent dupe to those so if you want to save yourself money just go ahead and get the nyx ones they have more variety but these are just as good as those as far as the formula they are not patchy they um go on my lips very nice and creamy they do not bleed i wore these all day two times and i purposely wore the light color to see if i would get that white rim inside my lips i do not get the white rim at all i ate with these it did fade away towards the end of the evening after i've eaten obviously and drank a lot throughout the day but it faded nicely where i kind of had like a ombre kind of look but it looked really nice at least with the lightest color of it my favorite is the lightest color honestly i it's very hard for me to really like a nude as you guys can see i'm always wearing bold lips in any video that i do make which is very rare for me to wear a nude but this nude is beautiful i love this nude this is one of my favorite nudes it's a shame that the scent kind of bugs me a little bit uh but if I wear it outside, I think I'll be okay. Just don't apply it in your car. Please don't apply it. Um, these, these last, I would say, a full eight hours, but you're not going to get the liquid lipstick um, longevity. You're going to get fading. You're going to get some uh, fading inside, and then it starts to fade throughout the day. You're going to get transfer. These are not cement like lip lipsticks so they're very comfortable to wear because they are creamy if you own a nyx soft matte lip cream you know exactly what i'm talking about so you can compare that to these 
you'll get transfer off of these if you kiss someone if you are eating something you'll see it on your drink or on your meal they're not the type that are going to be stuck on your lips as far as a liquid lipstick but they do last and they are extremely comfortable i wore these to meetings and I did not feel like I needed to constantly stare at my face to see if it was going anywhere. It did not run. I did not wear a lip liner with these. You don't need a lip liner. That's the other thing I do like about that applicator is that it has that point like kind of goes into like this rounded point where it's perfect enough where I can precisely go around my lips where I do not need to have a lip liner and I will not make a hot mess out of my lips. So as far as that goes, I do enjoy them. The only downside that I would say is one, the price, because compared to the NYX soft matte lip creams, these are more expensive. That's the one thing. And then the second thing is the scent. It's a very sweet, strong scent. So it's a, I'm just forewarning you. I keep saying it, but it really is nauseating. Like the scent, if you do put these on in an elevator or you reapply in a closed area, everyone's going to smell you. Everyone is going to be like, oh, after a while, if you like those scented candles, you may like it. But I'm not one to like sweet scented candles, so maybe that's why I just don't like the scent of it. But everyone in their mom is going to smell you because everyone kept asking me what was I eating and it was my lips. So just to let you guys know. Would I recommend these? If you love the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams and you don't mind the scent, yeah. I think they're a great product. I love the fact that they're comfortable, they're creamy, they're not patchy. It's a good lip lip product if it wasn't for the scent i would i would not hesitate to say yes go get some you're gonna love it i wish that they had a more of a variety of colors because i feel like three colors are very very similar in tone so it's they're all pinks and all and then the other three that you see here is a red a nude and a berry and then a bunch of pinks. So I wish that there was more of a variation in the pinks because I felt like they looked a little too similar, at least on me. And when I swatched them, they kind of looked a little too similar. Uh, now, I don't know how it's transferring out on camera, but as far as in person, I felt like they all looked very similar, just a little bit more berry, a one was more cool tone, and the other one was more like a pinky color. But they're all really the same. It doesn't, to me, it's just like, oh, okay, it's just another pink. But that's the other thing that I wish that it would have. But that is my quick review on these. I hope you guys enjoyed them. If you have purchased any, leave me down in the comment section what your thoughts are. I love to hear what you guys have to say about these products because there are things that maybe I missed that you guys have pointed out to me. And I do appreciate that because everyone else can see it down in the comment section below as well. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe. Like this video if you did like it. But I will link all of the colors down in the description box in the way that I did so watch them as far as in the video itself. Thank you guys again so much for all of your support and don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear.